First, we'll take a look at the approximate percentages of the four most abundant gases in the atmosphere. Nitrogen, 78.1%. Oxygen, roughly 21%. Argon, 0.9%. And carbon dioxide at 0.04%. There are also very small amounts of other noble gases and variable amounts of water vapour. Next, let's see how we can measure the amount or percentage of oxygen in the air. First, let's look at a practical on how we could measure the percentage of oxygen in the air by the rusting of iron. The process is simple, as this animation demonstrates. Secure a small piece of damp steel wool in the bottom of the test tube. Rotate the tube and suspend it with the open end submerged in a container of water. Oxygen will start to react with the iron in the steel wool, forming iron oxide. This removes the oxygen from the air in the tube. The missing oxygen is replaced by water being pushed up into the tube by air pressure. When the process is finished, the added volume of water in the tube equals the volume of removed oxygen. Now, after the experiment is conducted, how do we calculate the percentage of oxygen? Here's how. First, you have to find the total volume of air at the beginning of the experiment, and then the total volume of the air at the end. After that, subtract the amount of air at the end from the amount at the beginning and finally divide that answer by the volume of air at the beginning. Then multiply it by 100 to get the percentage. A combustion reaction is where an element burns in oxygen. Let's look at some examples. Here is the equation of the reaction between oxygen and magnesium. Magnesium burns in oxygen with a bright white flame. The product is magnesium oxide, a white powder. Next, you can see the equation of sulfur reacting with oxygen. It burns with a blue flame, resulting in sulfur dioxide, a colorless, poisonous gas. Next, hydrogen. Hydrogen burns in oxygen with a pale blue flame. The product is water. Global warming. Carbon dioxide is produced when fossil fuels burn. That is to say, they act with oxygen. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas and causes the greenhouse effect where IR rays from the sun pass through the atmosphere and warms up the surface. The infrared radiation is reflected from the surface of the earth. It's absorbed by molecules like carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. These molecules move around, giving this energy out, heating the atmosphere. Bye.